Hello and welcome back and in this video let's start with uh, a database connection from your application okay uh, since a uh, few days which we have discussed MongoDB there we have done the only connection through your through your uh, uh, the outside I mean uh, through compass how did you connect through shell how you do connect you know right so now it's time to understand how you connect to the MongoDB database using your ExpressJS application okay so let's start here. Uh, so this is my Express server. So I have imported the MongoDB. So how did you connect to MongoDB is this is the URL to connect to MongoDB. And for connection, I'm using the Mongoose. Uh, you can just have a Google search about uh, Mongoose, the official documentation of Mongoose is this one mongoose.js.com and uh, this is the you know this is an elegant mongodb object modeling for node.js uh, and even xs.js yeah this is the way you connect so you have to import uh, and this import statement was on javascript so we are making on typescript and uh, connection you have to make the url and then uh, you have to give some options here and then uh, you can use that for creating a model and saving into database and we also have a lot of uh, um, options here if you can see the documentation so here they'll give you a lot of uh, queries see delete uh, find uh, find by id find by id and update one uh, replace like every function every code operation is listed here so you know see that they also explain with a proper example okay so yeah let's start with uh, server connection i mean uh, database connection so i have imported so where i connect somewhere here connect to, to mongodb so how you connect is mongoose mongoose dot connect is a function so this function actually uh, uh, it, it's a promise so dot then dot catch okay so connect you have to provide the URL so my URL is in the environment variable so how did you access this <coughs> is process dot env dot mongodb local URL this how you mention and dot then you have a successful function and dot catch you have the error resolve and reject i hope you know the um, promises concept of javascript okay here you get the response from the server connection yeah uh, some small problem is there it says it may be undefined oh, okay 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 so you must give the proper value not the undefined value so let's say like this db url of type string are undefined string or undefined is equal to so let me get this url keep it here so i'll just check the condition if db url is there if db url is there if not undefined then you can connect to the mongodb okay so connect and just specify the db url okay i think that's fine comma you have to provide certain options uh, options like uh, as per uh, the documentation so use um, unified topology is true and use uh, new url parser is true and then use uh, create index is true so all these things are true and one extra thing is use find and modify should be false okay these are like a basic configuration you have to specify while connecting to mongodb and once it is done you get the response from the server so here you can just make a console.log connected to mongodb successfully so you get the confirmation message connected to mongodb successful if it is unable to connect you get the catch error so let me print those error so let's say console dot error of error okay and moreover 
uh, if it is unable to connect uh, your application is unable to connect to MongoDB there is no question of proceeding with the next steps so let me stop the process if unable to connect so let's say process dot exit of one so this will stops the node.js process okay if unable to connect if connect you can proceed okay so this is the connection logic to connect to mongodb from your <coughs> xrj's application uh, it's done and let's check see it is started so it's also connected so it will restart your application right for every file changes so it's been done automatically see uh, express server started mongodb connection is done and meanwhile let's open a compass window compass so mongodb compass and just open yeah it's opening uh, meanwhile i also start creating the routers okay we have to create the routing uh, there are two routings we have to do one is uh, <coughs> uh, user router and events router so here it will connect meanwhile okay so let's go here i'll create a directory called router i need uh, two routers one is uh, type step just say user router okay so how do you create a router mm, import express from express express and then let's say constant user router of type express dot router is equal to express dot router okay and you need to write a logic here and then let's export export default user router okay so all the logics about registration login you have to write here and same we have to create the events router so let's copy this file go here and paste it so i'll change this to events router okay so let's say this name is uh, events router and this fine and let's copy and paste it okay so you have made the routing and uh, so now let's configure them with the server so let me import them so import user router from the router folder import events router from the router folder okay and once you have done how do you configure with my server uh, simple see if you see users router every user router starts from slash users slash users for events is slash events so let's configure that way um, so what i do is after the basic get request let's say router configuration so let's say app dot use i'll say slash users i'll give user router okay and let's say one more app dot use app dot use let's say slash events and i want to configure a events router okay so every request which starts from users will carry forward to user router if any request starts from slash events will carry forward to the events router okay fine and you can also make some basic requests and check so let's say user router dot get request let's make a dummy request just for confirmation slash so i make this here request and the response request and response so here uh, request of type express dot request and also response will be express dot response okay so um here just make a, a simple confirmation respond dot status of 200 dot json i will specify this uh, like a message from user router okay so let's make the same story for uh, events router configuration so let's say events router i don't want user router here okay so from events router okay so you're gonna test this out using insomnia so first let me check server is up and running yeah server up and running so let's go to insomnia so i test with 
slash users slash so send it see from user router and I say slash uh, events slash get request events router if we don't specify then empty slash is your application uh, get request your uh, uh, server this one okay super so we have done this uh, a basic routers creation and let's make the each router uh, with uh, at least a dummy URL I mean I mean a dummy response for each URL because we have made a lot of uh, router configuration so let's make the basic configuration of these things and test it and then we'll do the database configuration okay so that's it thank you so much and let's meet in the next video thank you